Hola, mis amigos de horror. Uh, hello, my friends of horror. <laughs> Welcome to a brand new trailer reaction here on Scream Scene. Right now, we are checking out the just dropped, came out of nowhere trailer for the upcoming Netflix horror film called Velvet Buzzsaw. Now, when I say upcoming, it's actually really, really, really upcoming. It's coming out February 1st, which is kind of a surprise because I was just reading about it in like those. Um, uh, most anticipated movies of 2019 lists that came out a couple of weeks ago and uh, they never said when it was going to come out. There was no actual release date. They just said it was going to come out on Netflix. So surprise, surprise, the trailer just dropped and it's coming out in just, what, three weeks time? Well, about 20 days. So yeah, really excited about it. And a lot of reasons, uh, one of the main reasons why it's one of the most anticipated films of 2019 is because it's the brand new film from the guy who directed Nightcrawler. No, it's not an X-Men Origins film, we wish. It's actually uh, the guy who directed that Jake Gyllenhaal, Rene Russo film about tabloid journalism. Incidentally, those two are also the ones starring in this new film. Now, while that one was a bit more of a social commentary on uh, uh, the current state of tabloid journalism, um, this one is an outright horror movie, which is really, really exciting considering that the plot is a bit far-fetched. Uh, what I know about it is that it's about some kind of a demonic or evil art piece that's set in the art world. And uh, we don't get a lot of those outside of those, you know, um, possessed uh, antiques movies of like the 70s and 80s. Uh, but this one, I imagine it's going to take a fresh spin on that sub, sub, sub genre. So why don't we check it out and uh, we'll see what happens. This is Velvet Bazaar. There you go. <laughs> Critique is so limiting and emotionally draining. I am hoping you find something to explain what's happening. Which one's better, one or two? Better or worse, no different. No different. I am quite curious to know what you think. I think sober hasn't been good for him. Pierce was in the full bloom of alcoholism. Tony Collette! Exactly. Love it. Never used to quit drinking. <laughs> no originality. No courage. My opinion. I can't save you. I found something. Who did these? They're mesmeric. A uh, guy upstairs, he died. And you just took them? He had my family or friends. I can make you rich. <laughs> it's brilliant. Demand has people ready to kill. Have you ever heard of an artist named Ventral Deals? No, not in our records, and we have everyone. The artist. When does the horror start? The reddish block. You ever notice anything about this painting? You look at it long enough, it moves. There you go. As I researched deals, I was starting to think there's a disgust for the world of money. They spent decades in a psychiatric hospital for the criminally insane. Of course. There is some sort of power. <laughs> some spirit. It's connected to his art. <gasps> Truly goddamn strange is going on! <laughs> this is a slaughterhouse. Are you aware that these asked that all his art be destroyed? <laughs> Get rid of it. Box it off. I can't save you. People thought she was part of an exhibit. We're trending on Instagram. <laughs> it's a major hit. Whoa, there it is. There you go. Wow, that's... Ooh, yeah, yeah. Notice I keep doing this a lot. I don't know why. I, I have no idea why I keep doing this a lot. Well, there you go. Melvin Bazaar. What do you think? Me, I think... 
I don't know. I don't. I don't know what to think. It's very interesting. There's this great um, mix of comedy and horror, which is very prevalent in uh, Nightcrawler. If you've seen that movie, oh, that one was a bit, a lot darker actually. Um, this one seems a bit more lighthearted and a bit more tongue in cheek, mostly pork, poking fun at the art world and what all that's about. I'm not going to comment on it because I'm not an art critic, or comment on the world itself. But yeah, great cast, great visuals, uh, seemingly great jump scares and great horror. So yeah, yeah, definitely going to check it out on February 1st. I have a Netflix subscription, so I'm not going to lose anything except two hours of my life. And it does look pretty exciting. I love the way it's created. I'm looking forward uh, to see an, another unhinged Jake Gyllenhaal performance, which seems to be the case nowadays, is the uh, role of choice. Uh, Tony Collette looks absolutely back crap crazy in here. And uh, yeah, everything, all of the supporting cast looks really, really great. And uh, it looks like they spent a lot of money and I want to know what the deal is with that creepy freaking robot. Yeah, I'm in. I'm definitely in. Are you in? Well, if you are, please let us know in the comments below and uh, do follow us on our socials. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, and coming soon on Instagram, so watch out for that. So we'll see you again here next time on Scream Scene, and until then, keep screaming.